so very good. Let's make Hanmanji's face. So we're going to keep our some air into our mouth and hold it in our mouth for 30 seconds. Okay, ready? And release. Now take your tongue out. We're going to go to the right side first and then to the left side. Make sure your eyes are following along with you. Ready? Start. Let's do 30. Very good. And let's do the next exercise, which is which is the teeth grinding. So we're gonna inhale from both nostrils, exhale through your mouth with the sound of Okay, ready? Inhale. Inhale again. Inhale again. Inhale again. One more time. Inhale. Very good. Let's take our right foot, bring it in the front. We're going to twist ourselves nicely on the right side. Suresh Babu, if you're taking pictures, just send it to us in the group on Telegram. Thank you. Shift your sides. We have a lot of new folks join it. Uh, so just make sure we have everyone's attendance so that we can give everyone credit for attending the class. Angelese. Very good. We haven't done our shoulders, so keep your both arms on the side. Let's rotate your both arms in a circle. Shift it to the counterclockwise or reverse. Let's take both of our knuckles. We're going to circle our knuckles 20 rounds clockwise. And then 20 times countable. Good, excellent. And now we can go to the namaste. So let's do our namaste <clears throat> for our, let's do a little bit of asanas, right? We need to make sure our stress is released. Our neuro system works nicely. All of our body is nicely um, relaxed, okay? So both of our arms should be connected, hold it. Keep your both legs straight, or first you're standing on your feet, both of your feet, and then now you're getting up on your toes to do the namaste pose. Very good. 
Very good. Excellent. Now you can also keep it straight if you like. If you can't stand on your toes, that's fine. You can at least do this much, which is easy, right? Eventually, you, you can get up on your toes. Now keep both of your arms on the ground. You're going to keep both of your arms on the ground. We're going to lean forward, keeping both elbows onto our thigh muscle. Okay, keeping both elbows onto the thigh muscle. I know some of you are beginners. Just watch me and then practice doing the same. Okay, keep your both elbows on the ground. Keeping the, keeping the both arms on the ground, elbows on your thigh muscle, like this, and try to lean forward, okay? Very easy. You can lean forward, and if you can lift it and keep it up for 30 seconds. Very good. This really brings your inner strength. It strengthens your real power. It releases all your stress. It brings the confidence back in you, okay? Let's take the right foot, hold it. Shift it to the left leg. None of us are doing it on in our comfort zone. So it should be all very safe yoga. You can do it on the carpet or wherever you feel comfortable with. And release. Let's keep both of our feet flat on the ground. We're gonna take our arms out and swing it in. Out and in. Let's do 20. Bring your arms out and in. In and out. This really helps with your knee, your thigh muscle, your back muscles, your hip muscles, along with your arm muscles. Bring your arms in the front. Let's wave it up and down 20 times. Let's do alternate, out and in, up and down. Out, in, up and down, wave it. Let's do 10. Very good, excellent. And release, keep your right foot folded. Left leg is straight on the ground. Take your right arm in the back and hold it with your left arm in the back. Okay? Try to bend forward. Very good for your kidney, your intestines, and liver muscles. Shift your sides. Let's take the left leg and fold your left leg. Take your left arm, connect with your right arm in the back, and bend forward. And release. Very good. Let's take both of your legs, lift it up. Now cross both of your feet, and we're gonna take our both arms from underneath our legs, like this. Now whichever asanas or the poses you can do, just skip them, go to the next one. You'll always find the one that you will like. You'll always have your favorites, okay? And release. Let's do butterfly. Let's do 30 butterflies.
Not everyone can do all the asanas. I understand. Try your best. This is all made for your own better health, right? So do whatever best you can. Uh, increase your flexibility in your body and release those stiffness from your body. That's what you're basically doing. Release the stress, re release the stiffness. And release, very good. Let's keep both of your legs straight. We're gonna try to reach out to our toes. Give a nice stretch to your entire back. Very good. Now we're gonna take our both legs, we're gonna fold it outwards, okay? Fold those outwards for a gomukasan or the cow pose. We're gonna connect both of our arms in the back. Okay. So I folded both of my legs outside, outwards. Outside means out of my body. Shift your sides, only shift your arms. And release. Very good. And just keep both of your legs straight. We're going to try to do our toes first. So circle your toes 20 times clockwise. Shift it to counterclockwise. Let's alternate your toes back and forth. Bring your both arms in the front. You're gonna open and close your fingers while you do the same, alternating your toes back and forth. Very good. Now keep your, shake your knees a little bit, up and down. Remember this was very important for uh, the yoga gurus. So we're gonna take that into our package as well. Just keep your knees up and down 10 times. Now we're gonna keep our both toes pointed out and in. Pointed out and in, 20 times. Point your toes out and in, 20 times. your right leg onto the left knee. I'm gonna shake that knee as if it's a baby. 20 times. Now take the leg on the elbow, I'm gonna swing it 20 times. Shift your legs, keep your left leg onto the right knee, shake it 20 times. And then swing it. All of our body weight is put on the legs, so we need to make sure our Long legs, long living le legs are very healthy, right? And circle the chakki. So chakki circles 20 times clockwise first. Let's do counterclockwise 20 times. Very 
good. Keep your both arms raised up and bring it to your toes. Raise it up and bring it to your toes. Let's do 20. your both legs spread it out nicely hold your toes and bend forward bring your both arms to one side keep your head in the middle Shift your sides. And release. Let's do the opposite arms, touching the opposite leg. Swing your body nicely. It's excellent for your hip muscles, for your leg muscles, and for your arms and back as well. Keep your right leg folded inwards, left leg is folded outwards, you're going to fold it onto your elbow like this, okay? Keep the left leg folded outwards, keeping it on the elbow and try to stretch nicely if you can, connect your arms, that's fine. If not, at least keep it to your elbow in the back, okay? It increases the flexibility of your legs. Shift your sides. So I'm gonna fold my left leg inwards. Right leg is folded outwards in the back. I'm gonna hold it onto my elbow and keep both of my arms connected in the back. And release, very good. Let's do the sides, legs on the side. So 20 times. Shift your sides. Very good. And we're going to lay down on our back for our leg exercises. So keep your both legs closed. I'm going to keep those legs on the right side. We're going to face towards the left side. Shift your sides. Take the left leg, hold it onto your right arm, and you're going to face towards the opposite. Very good for your heart and back exercising. Your heart is circulating the blood nicely when you're doing this exercise. It strengthens your artery. It strengthens your spinal cord muscles. Shift your sides. Now, when I say strengthen, when I say it's, it helps, that means helps. Is, it it really helps with the keeping it not painful, not hurting, uh, keeping it just normal the whole time. 
until we, you know, until we get old, then things might change. Until you keep maintaining and release. Very good. Let's take the right leg. We're going to circle it 20 times clockwise first. Circle only your right leg clockwise. You can always see my demonstration. Give that a rest. Let's take the left leg. We're going to circle it outwards 20 times. Give that a chance or give that a, give that a break. Let's take the right leg again. We're going to circle it inwards or turn the clockwise, turn it high. I'm going to put it to reverse mode. This really helps releasing the extra fat from your legs. Let's try with the left leg. Like I said, all of our weight is put on the legs. So all of the fat gets hold on the legs. So we need to make sure that we do burn that extra fat by doing these exercising. And release. Let's hold both of your legs up. And hold it for 30 seconds. Someone's trying to join in. If you just join in, please make sure your audio is muted. So no one is distracted with the background sound. And release. Now let's do circle from knee to the toe. All right, so we're gonna circle it clockwise. Circle it down the clockwise 20 times. Keep both of your legs folded. You want to bring it to your face. Make sure your face is lifted up like this. This is excellent for those of you who have hernia issues. Okay, keep it for 30 seconds. Make sure both of your legs are folded nicely. Hold them tight. And release. Now let's keep both of your feet folded. Bring it to your forehead. Make sure your face is lifted up. And release. Very good. Just keep both of your feet folded outwards and keep them onto the ground. Keep the knees on the ground. Both of your feet are folded outwards. The knees are touched to the ground. And release. Let's take the right leg onto the left knee. And lift both of your legs up. Shift your sides. And release. Let's hold your ankles. This is a very, very important exercise. So hold your ankles and lift your upper body. Those of you with the back issues, this is very good. And a lot of you have complained me with the back issues. So please do these. Some of these asanas will help you release that pain from your back. 
trust me, the medications won't do much as much as you do these exercises. And release. Very good. Let's do the opposite elbows, touching the opposite knee and kick. So cycle and sit ups together, okay? So opposite elbows, touching the opposite knee and kick. Opposite elbows, opposite leg. Let's do 20. Then let's do cycle and sit ups together. Very good. And keep your head down. I'm going to reverse those legs, reverse kicking 20 times. Keep your both legs straight on the ground. We're going to keep those both legs, bring it up and swing it down. Bring it up, swing it down. Let's do 20. When we had Patanjali Gurus with us, they were saying to do these 100, 100, okay? We were at least trying to do 20 to 25. So we can maintain it regularly. And with the short of time, with the time limitation, we can only do so much that, I, that we want to cover up, right? And release. Very good. Once you complete the 20, keep your both legs on the ground, slightly separated. You can do Savasana. So both of our arms are facing towards the ceiling. Just relax yourself for 30 seconds. Keeping both legs nicely separated. And relax, breathe. And release. Bring your both legs together. Let's do full sit-ups. I'm sure you know sit-ups. What sit-ups are. I'm going to do full sit-ups. So those of you who are beginners, at least do 5, 10 in the beginning. And then eventually you can do 20. This really helps pushing your stomach inwards, flattening your body, straightening your body. It helps with your back. This really helps with your entire body, actually. to the back exercises. Turn around for your back exercises. <clears throat> so keeping the both legs straight in the back, we're gonna kick our legs in the back. Very good for your lower back. Keep your both legs holding in the back. You're gonna look up to the ceiling, keeping the leg, keeping the face lifted up. And release. Hold both of your arms in the back. The lower legs are slightly lifted up and looking at the ceiling. And release. Keep your both arms on the ground, on the side. Keep your chin to the ground. You're going to lift your right leg and left leg. Right leg and left leg. This really helps with your thigh muscles. The, it's releasing a lot of fat from your back legs and front leg, upper legs.
We did this exercise when we were with the yoga gurus the other day. Very good. Bring both of your arms in the front. All right, like this. Keep your both arms in the front. We're going to do structure push-ups to straighten our body structure. Let's do 20. Very good. Let's do our tabletop push-ups, keeping the both arms on the ground. And you're going to do only your upper back. So up and down, only upper back. Very, very good for your entire back exercises. Okay, those of you with the back issues should be doing this regularly. Yogis who do these normally, they shouldn't have any body aches and body pains. They should do these regularly though. Keeping both legs straight in the back. And then look down, keeping the both arms in the front. Hold it for 30 seconds. Swing forward 20 times for Surya Namaskar push-ups. Very good. Keep your right foot folded in the front, left leg is straight. You're looking at the ceiling. Shift your sides. So take your left leg in the front. Make sure it's folded. Right leg is folded in the right leg is straight in the back. And you're looking at the ceiling. And release. Very good. Let's sit in Vajrasana. We're going to fold. We're going to keep our both arms bent. I mean, press the empty stomach part and bend forward. Should you hold it for 30 seconds? Someone is trying to join in. All right. Hold it for 30 seconds. This is one of my most favorite exercises as well because all of these diseases in our body start from your stomach. So make sure you press it nicely, let it flow around, and, and release. Very good. Let's take, take both of your uh, hold your ankles and lean forward, keeping the head down. Keep your head on the ground and hold your ankles. Let the blood circulate go onto your brain. And release. Very good. Let's do the head scan drill. So use your pillow. Like I said, we always we only do the safe yoga. So we use our tools to support our exercises that we need to do. So keep your pillow. You're gonna keep both of your elbows, both of your arms on the pillow, keeping the head in the middle. Okay, you're gonna keep your both legs folded, keep your right leg, go in the back and lift it. Hold it for 30 seconds, lift it up. Bring it back and fold it. Take your left leg, go in the back and lift up. And bring it back. And so Very good. And release. I can put the pillow away. Keep 
que vos había antes un enamorado de Félix, o un enamorado de Mouth White, que es tu tongue out, y look up to the ceiling. Try to make that lion sound. That kind of sound, okay? Very good. That will clean your throat up. That's going to prevent your throat cancer. Okay, by the way. Very good. Let's take the both arms, hold it, hold their ankles, and lean back. Those of you with the back issues, I know some of you have back issues. Just hold your hips and slightly lean back. Okay? Everyone else can just hold your ankles and lean as much as you can. And release. Very good. Let's take the right side extension. Keep your right leg straight. Right arm stretch nicely. Shift it to the left side. Left leg and left arm stretch all the way. And release. Let's take the right leg in the front. The left leg is folded. Keep your both arms on the ground. Hold it for 30 seconds. Shift your sides. Very good. Let's do our leg exercises. Stand on, on, on your legs. Keep keeping the right leg, keeping 90 degree angle. Both arms are stretched nicely. And let's hold it for 30 seconds. Shift your sides. You're gonna fold both of your arms in the back, okay, right behind your chest. Keep your both leg, both arms folded in the back. The right leg is in the same position, 90 degree angle. Shift it to the left leg. Very good. Let's do the opposite arms, touching the opposite feet. Swing your both arms nicely. Very good. Let's do the side locks. So lean all the way to the side. This really helps burning all of your back, from your hips, from your back, from your legs. Gonna weight lose lot. Very good. Keep both of your arms in, on the ground and spread your legs as much as you can. Don't stretch it too much. Just spread it as much as you can. And look straight if you can. Very good for your entire back. And release. Bring both of your legs together. We're gonna lean back and lean forward. Lean back, lean forward. That's 220.
Very good. Keep your right leg. Hold it in the back and lean forward. Now, if you're new, you can always use the wall support. You can always use chair support or any other thing that you like to take support with. But you need to hold your leg and lean forward. Shift your sides. And release. Now let's do the, uh, the, the exercise that I really like about our legs. So we're going to take both of our arms, raise up. We're going to hold it for 30 seconds, okay? I haven't taught some of you. Um, so we're going to stand on our toes, keeping the both arms raised up, okay? It's called Tarasan, and it's excellent for your legs. When you turn old, your legs won't get bended. It will always remain straight, okay? So let's do that and hold it for 30 seconds. And release, very good. Let's do the arm exercises to be both uh, arms on the hips. I'm gonna start kicking on our right side first. Kick your right foot on the right side. Shift it to the left side. Very good. Let's kick in the front. Keep your right leg in the front. Try to touch opposite arms to it. Swing your arms as much as you can. Shift your sides. Try with the left leg. Keep your left leg in the front and opposite arm is touching to the leg. Very good. Keep your both arms on the hips as to the ankle. So we're gonna circle our ankle, right ankle 20 times clockwise. Give that a rest. Let's take the left leg, left ankle outwards 20 times. Give that a rest. Let's take the right ankle again. We're going to circle it inwards 20 times. Take the left ankle, circle it inwards. Very good. And release. Let's take the right arm. We're going to circle it clockwise 20 times. Circle your right arm clockwise 20, 20 times. Give that a rest. Let's take the left arm. Circle it 20 times. Counterclockwise or clockwise, whichever you want to begin with. I normally generally just start with clockwise first. Just easier to remember. Give that a rest. Let's take the right arm again. We're going to circle it reverse this time. Try with the opposite arm again, reverse. And 
and release. Just do the Urdhva Uttar Namaskar, halfway folded. Okay, stretch your entire back nicely by folding your back, such as this. And look up. Now keep your both arms in the back, lower back. You're going to lean forward and lift your right leg up in the back. Look straight, control, balance, and focus. Shift your sides. Lean forward. Lift your left arm, left leg up. Look straight, control, balance, and focus. And release. Very good. Excellent. And let's do the um, expanding our spinal cord or strengthening our spinal cord muscle. So we're going to keep our right leg and right arm down. Keeping the left arm and left leg up. Hold it like this. Shift your sides. done our laughing yoga. So let's take all of the negativity out. We're going to do laughing. All right? Ready? Let's drop five times and we're going to laugh while we drop. Ready? Start. Watch me. <laughs> Again. <laughs> Again. <laughs> take all of the negativity out. <laughs> One more. <laughs> Very good. We're going to laugh when we are pumping our shoulders up. Okay? Ready? <laughs> Again. <laughs> Again. <laughs> Again. <laughs> One more time. <laughs> Very good. Sorry for the loud noise. Let's do the tree pose. Keep your right leg onto the left knee. Keep both of your arms folded up. Shift your legs. Both of your arms, we're going to circle it clockwise first. And we're going to circle it reverse 20 times. Let's do our eagle pose. So we're going to keep our right leg onto the left leg. Left leg. Twist, your neck, twist your both of your arms nicely and hold it for 30 seconds. Shift your sides. Try with the left leg this time. And release. Let's do our super brain yoga. We're going to press both of these ears, sit, and get up. We want to make sure our memory is nicely maintained. So make sure your ears are pressed. Very 
Very good. Just keep both of your legs. We didn't do this side. So keep your both legs straight on the ground. Try to reach out or keep your left arm on the, watching the ceiling or towards the ceiling. Shift your sides. Remember what your guru says. Those of you sweating or taking a shower with the sweat will never have health issues. So you should be sweating, doing some of these exercises. And release. Very good. And let's do the jogging because we haven't done our jogging. So let's do 100 jogging, okay? Feel free to move around in the room. We're gonna do 100 times jogging. Start counting on your, from your right side, from your right leg. Keep margin. Keep margin. Let your breathing get normal. The heart rate become normal. Relax yourself. Let's take your right, left arm onto the left hips. We're gonna hold the right leg up. Shift your sides. And release. Let's take both of your um, and let's take your body weight lifters. We're going to do 20 squats. Let's do that for five minutes. Squats. Good. We're going to take our right arm and right elbow in the front and shift it with left arm and left elbow. All right, just do 20. Swing your arms, step, cross, and swing your arms, okay? Step, cross, swing your arms. This strengthens your chest muscles, your heart muscles, and your artery. Okay.
Very good. And let's stand still so you can lift both of your arms up. Raise it all the way up. Bring it to your shoulders and down. Up to your shoulders and down. Let's do 20. Very good. And you can put those weight lifters away. I don't want to do, do the on your toes, on your ankle. So let's do 20. Stand on your toes. And then you're going to stand on your ankle. Okay? Let's do 20 of that. Stand on your toes. Stand on your toes. Count when you're on your, ankle, on your toes. Very good, excellent. And let's take our ball. So get your ball. We're gonna do a couple of minutes for ball exercise. So we can do our internal system exercising. Let's bring your ball. A couple of minutes for ball. All right, let's lean back as much as we can. Keeping the both arms on the ground. Relax yourself. Let it nicely stretch your back and your internal system. And release. We're going to take our the right leg stretched straight, left leg is folded, the right arm is on the ground, and left arm is stretched in the back. Hold it for 30 seconds. Shift your sides. on the side of your legs and hold it for 30 seconds. And release. Let's do our both arms stretched to the right side, middle and left. Bring it up, down, up and middle. So right, middle and left. Let's do 20. This really gives a nice shoulder stretch. Very good. And let's do our back exercises. Keep your back ball on the back. Both of your arms on the ground. Okay. Keeping the right leg on the ball and then now lift it left leg along with it on the ball hold it for 30 seconds take both of your elbows down now sometimes these balls we might roll out okay so you got to do it on the carpet, but it's very good for your back exercises. This almost goes away your back pain. So try it if you can. If you don't like it, don't. And release. Very good. Let's bring the ball in the front. All right. Keep your both arms in the front of your ball. Both legs are straight in the back. You're leaning towards the ball. You're going to lift your right 
playing, swing it back and forth 20 times. Try with the left left leg this time, so get back and forth. Very good. Keep your both elbows under the ball. Take your both legs straight in the back. And you're gonna look up to the ceiling, strengthening the back. Release. Very good. Let's do the balancing. So keep your right leg, right knee onto the wall. Both arms are stretched on the side. Control and focus. Try not to take support. Shoot your sides. Do one last exercise or two last exercise. So one pose and the last exercise. So let's do the handstand drill. Keeping the both arms on the ground. We're gonna walk on the wall. Those of you with the wall, you can move comfortably. If you feel comfortable walking on the wall, wall, that's fine. We can use your sofa. Make sure you turn upside down one time a day. Okay. Either way, whatever, however you do it, that's excellent for your brain exercising. Okay or brain to get nice blood circulation. All right, we're gonna hold it for 50 seconds. And release. Very good, very good, Omati. So proud of you. Very, very nice. All right, let's do the jumping jack. Um, 60 plus, please do not jump. They will do this, okay? Everyone else, let's jump 30. Ready, start. a beautiful eye exercise. Take a few minutes for your eye exercise and you'll be done, okay? Press the top chakra. We have chakra here. Press the top chakra 20 times. Back and forward chakra. And the sides. Massage your entire head. Let's take the two drops of cow ghee, purified butter. We're gonna circle it right below the nose here, 20 times. Circle it clockwise, relax your mind. <coughs> and circle it 20 times counterclockwise. And you can use the remaining ghee or purified butter onto the screen for your nice growing skin and bones. Let's take your right thumb, go to the right side, follow your eyes onto your thumb. 
Make sure our face is face front. Come in the middle. Let's go to the left side. Let's go up. <coughs> Come in the middle. Let's go down. Go to the right side again. Come in the middle. Let's go to the left side. Come in the middle, let's go down. <coughs> Come in the middle, let's go again to the right side. Come in the middle, let's go down. Come in the middle and release. Let's look at your right shoulders with both of your eyes. Your left shoulders. Come in the middle, the jumper eyebrows. Eyeballs 20 times clockwise first. Let's rotate it counterclockwise 20 times. Let's 
Let's blink your eyes 30 times. Swarm up your eyes nicely. Keep your both arms onto the eyes. Make sure your eyes are closed and hold it for 30 seconds. <coughs> One more time. And remove your hands slowly, gently open your eyes. Very good. And let's do the one more breathing, two more breathing exercises. So we're going <clears> to <throat> inhale to the mouth with the... Okay. And then take it out from the nose like this okay excel it in one go ready very good and let's do the deep breathing 30 times let's take a pranayam Bring your yoga blocks or the pillow. We're going to do our acupuncture. So keep your both knees onto the yoga blocks or the yoga pillow. And press these acupuncture points 30 times. And let's do the last but not least acupuncture tali. So we're going to press all of these acupunctures from our hand along with our foot. Okay, 100 times tali. Ready? Start. next week next saturday is again the training from patanjali so don't miss it on saturday thank you thank you namaste thank namaste you. Suresh Babu. Good. namaste Umanti. good job excellent job thank you thank so you so proud of you yeah, bye now you. take care thank you. bye Ritanti. bye thank you yeah.